the early Cold War arms and space race between the U.S. and the USSR. The Cold War had long roots. Decades of distrust between the United States and USSR were temporarily set aside during World War II as they allied to fight Hitler and the Nazis. As World War II came to an end, the tensions reemerged as Stalin refused to give up control of the satellite nations and the U.S. used its possession of the atomic bomb to increase its global power. The Soviets refused to allow U.S. to be the sole owner of nuclear weapons for long. The Soviets accelerated their research and detonated their own nuclear weapon in 1949 much sooner than anyone expected. This unexpectedly quick Russian success not only caught the U.S. off guard, but alarmed the Western world and propelled a technology race between the United States and Soviet Union. This caused a technology competition that would result in the development of weapons too dangerous to use and a man walking on the moon. While outer space captivated the world's imagination, the nuclear arms race captured its anxieties. The escalating arms race continued to foster panic. As a result, after the Soviets tested their atomic bomb, the U.S. responded with a new, deadlier weapon, the hydrogen bomb. The blast cloud was about 50 kilometers high and 100 kilometers wide and completely destroyed the island on which it was tested. Nuclear weapons became even deadlier with the creation of Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, or ICBMs, which could launch nuclear weapons from hundreds of miles away. When the Soviets used an ICBM rocket to launch Sputnik, the first satellite, into space, the arms race became the space race. Americans not only believed the Soviets were winning the race, but also feared Soviets could use satellite technology to launch nuclear weapons from space. The U.S. responded by creating NASA and funding educational programs to win the Cold War. The arms race and space race set the stage for human achievements like the Apollo 11 moon mission, but also took humans to the brink of extinction during the Cuban Missile Crisis.